in some respects, and this question I've got to agree with my colleagues, it's a fairly logical place for the funding to sit. Uh, addictions are a public health uh, subject, they're a public health discussion, they're a public health arena for solving that uh, and for working with that. So it is logical. But there's good and bad news with the funding sitting where it now sits. Um, if you look at the bad news, um, October, uh, PhD published their five-year priorities. Um, and again, sorry Mark, um, uh, I'm struggling to find drugs within the five-year priorities. I can find alcohol, um, reducing alcohol drinking hospital admissions. I can find smoking, but I'm struggling to find drugs. Um, and that then leads to questions about where are our service users prioritised? What are the priorities? Um, and the DOH uh, funded some research into funding. Um, and last year, funding was in amongst the 134 local authorities. Uh, you were talking 52% saying no change to the funding, which in real terms is a cut. 28% saying they were cutting funding. Um, this year, they've actually done the survey a bit early, and they've acknowledged it was a bit too early. And there was half the local authorities hadn't made their mind up. But there was still a clear thing about, OK, we're either going to keep it the same or reduce funding. Very few were looking to increase funding. Now, to be fair, this, is, this isn't just targeted at substance misuse. There are wholesale cuts against everything. But I suppose the bad news is that if you look at the priorities, are our service users' needs being prioritised when some of the other um, areas that public health are looking at are tackling obesity, especially in children, um, uh, tackling growth in uh, antimicrobial resistance, the resistance to a lot of the uh, viruses that come round. Um, public opinion does not sit in our favour in those areas. However, there is some good news. Um, the, the good news is that public health tends to look at a longer term, bigger picture. And they will tend to look at data spreading over decades. That's good for us because that does help with longer term planning. And increasingly, contracts in our field are getting slightly longer. Five year contracts are commonplace now. There are some seven year contracts floating around. There's even been a 10 year contract put out just recently. That's good news for both. Uh, commissioners, providers and service users because it means that everyone can work together to long term plan and to look at a bigger picture. But within funding by public health, I started off by agreeing with my colleagues saying it is the logical place to sit, but it's not the only place. Crime is massively affected by substance misuse. And certainly, I wouldn't want to see us losing funding coming from the criminal justice sector. I would welcome uh, some funding from uh, the MOD. We do quite a bit of work with veterans, and it would be nice to see MOD funding put in to support that work. So, yes, logically, I think funding should sit with public health, but not exclusively that we should also be getting funding from other arenas.